how to sell a domain name with GoDaddy. That's what I'm going to cover in this video. What's up, everybody? My name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So you have your domain name at GoDaddy and you don't want to keep it anymore for whatever reason. Well, you don't have to just let it expire. You can actually list it for sale. Now, the process of doing so is pretty simple and straightforward. You have your GoDaddy account. Then you have to link an Afternic account. Afternic is this separate service and website that GoDaddy also owns. And then once you connect the two, you can list your domain name for sale. The process is simple and I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. So like always, make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So let's start off by getting a domain name at GoDaddy. So just navigate to GoDaddy.com and right up top here is where you can search for domain names. Input the domain name that you want to register, then click on search domains. Okay, so I have my super amazing website.com. Let's go ahead and click on search domain names to see if it's available. All right, so you have a lot of information on this page. So over here on the left hand side, you have the exact match of what you typed in. On the right hand side, you have a bundle offer. So if you want to get your domain with alternative domain extensions, you can go ahead and do that. And then down below here, you have a bunch of different domain name suggestions. Anyways, when you're ready to purchase your domain name, simply click on the don't miss out button. Okay, so now you should see a bar that says view cart or looks good to keep going. Let's click on view cart over here. Now we have our .com right here in the shopping carts, and this is the term for the domain registration. So right now it's set to three years. You can change that for 10 years or one year, whatever you want. Over here, you'll see full domain protection. This is recommended. I don't recommend it. I would leave it off. Anyways, when you're ready, click on continue to carts. Great. So now you need to either create an account or sign in. So if you don't have a GoDaddy account, just go through the on screen process of creating your account. If, obviously, if you already have an account, click on sign in over here and then sign into your GoDaddy accounts. Once you sign into your GoDaddy accounts, you're going to be on this registration page. So right over here, you have your free domain privacy for life, which is included with your purchase. Then you have protect your domain. I personally would leave that off. It's up to you. Um, but again, just keep your GoDaddy account secure and there should be no issue. Then right down here, you have build your site, the speed of AI. So you have a coming soon site that's included with your domain name. Then an upsell for email over here. So we can just leave that off for no professional email. All right, so click over here to continue to cart. And finally, you'll be on the checkout page. So just make sure that everything is correct once you're over here. If it is, click on PayPal to pay with PayPal or click on ready for checkout to purchase with a credit card. And then you are good to go. Listing your domain name for sale with GoDaddy. All right, so now we have a GoDaddy account and we registered a domain name. Now I know what you're thinking. We click over here for domains. Well, this is actually all the services that GoDaddy provides for domain names. If we want to actually list our domain name for sale, we need to click over here for our accounts. Then we want to click on where it says my products. Okay, so over here on your product page at the very top right here, you have a landing page for your domain name. So a coming soon landing page. We don't want to click on this. What you need to do is scroll down a little bit. Then you have your domains over here. You want to click on manage all. You don't want to click on manage either because if you click on this button, it takes you to the same page that clicking this item right here does. And then DNS is for your DNS settings. We're not adjusting any DNS settings. So click over here for manage all. Fantastic. So you should be looking at your domain portfolio. So you have a bunch of different options over here. So you have auto renew, lock, domain privacy, etc. What you want to do is click on the little checkbox right there. And once you do that, boom, this bar pops up. And what do you see right there? List for sale. So go ahead and click on that. A light box will appear. So click on get started. All right. So now you need to set your price. So over here is the domain name that you're listing for sale. This is the estimated value of your domain. Then you can set your buy now price. What price are you willing to give up the domain name right now if someone wants to buy it from you? So go ahead and change this to 497 over here. All right, so the floor price is the base minimum price that you're willing to sell the domain name for. So once it's listed on after Nick, sales representatives will find try and find buyers, et cetera, and try to negotiate a sale price, et cetera. And this is the base minimum that you're willing to just sell it for without having anyone contact you. So I'll change this to, we'll say like 197. Now, say if I get an offer for like 97, 
then someone from after Nick will contact me being, hey, we have a potential buyer for your, this domain name for $97. Do you approve or not? Uh, but if it's within the floor price, like it's $197 and the offer is like $200, then the domain name will just be sold for that price. And then finally, you have add a sales page. Absolutely. You want to add that. And then what that does is that adds a sales page. So when people visit the magic.store, it'll be a sales page saying, hey, this domain name is available for sale. Anyways, when you're ready, click on next. Okay, so if you're adding a sales page, you're gonna get this quick little warning saying like, hey, we're gonna replace all the content with a sales page. That just means that like, hey, your coming soon page is going to be replaced with a sales page. And if that's okay, just click on yes, I'm sure. So no problem over here, let's click on yes, I'm sure. All right, then you're going to be prompted to sign into your GoDaddy account again, just to verify that it's you and you're the one who's making these changes and listing your domain name for sale. Now, once you enter in your account's information to verify that it's you, you should be seeing a light box that says, congratulations, we've listed your domain name for sale. Now, you either will or will not see this little yellow box at the top right here, but all it's saying is that, hey, we couldn't create the for sale lander for your domain, so you're gonna have to update your name servers manually yourself. Don't worry, I got you covered. I'll walk you through how to do that if you're getting this error message. Anyways, click on close to continue. Double checking your name servers. So if you got that error message, you need to double check your name servers. So navigate back to your domain portfolio over here. Now you have a few different things to click on. So you'll see name servers right here. If you click on this, this is just going to list out all the name servers for all your domains. I only have one domain, but if I had like multiple domain names over here using multiple, like a different web host, website builders, then it would just list out the name servers over here. This is not where you change name servers. You got to click on the little three dots right there for the respective domain name to change the DNS settings. So click on that, scroll down, and then you want to click on edit DNS over here. Now you can update your DNS. So if you got that error message, you want to navigate over here, click on name servers, and just double check that it's pointing to after Nick. So I went through that automatic process, even though it said that there was an issue it's pointing to NS3 and NS4 after Nick. And so then let's actually take a quick look at the website over here to make sure everything is working. Like, yeah, it's working fine. So no problem. I don't know what that error message was about. Just double check everything. If you have a lander to sell the domain name and it updated your uh, DNS settings as appropriate, then you're good to go. But if it's pointing to GoDaddy, then you need to update the name servers. Now, on this page over here, and for After Nick, on how to sell your domain name, they recommend using NS1 and NS2. So if it's pointing to GoDaddy for some reason, then update it to NS1 and NS2 over here. And to do that, you click on Change Name Servers. Then you can just update it right here. Just click on that and then click on Save. Otherwise, just double check to make sure it's working. It's probably working out of the box like it is for me with NS3 and NS4 and then actually checking the domain name. It does take a few minutes for propagation, so just give it a little bit of time. But the lander is looking great. The user can get a price in 24 hours and contact GoDaddy and After Nick and get a price, etc. So it looks great. Anyways, that's what you need to do to double check your DNS settings for your domain name. Verifying that your domain is actually listed for sale. So this is afternick.com. This is owned by GoDaddy and they're the world's premier domain marketplace. So you do want to log in just to make sure everything's working as expected. So you want to click over here to sign in and you don't need to create a new account. You already can log in with your GoDaddy account. So click over here to sign in. Once you do that, you should be looking at the login page. Just click here to sign in with GoDaddy. And then it's going to direct you to just use your customer ID, a password, or you can use an email. Anyways, log in to After Nick. Welcome to your After Nick dashboard. So let's just check to make sure our domain name is listed. Obviously, because the landing page is working, it should be listed. So let's click on portfolio over here. Then you want to click on all domains. And our domain name should be listed right here. So, yep, the magic store listed, buy now price, floor price. We are good to go. Now, at the top right here, you see this lease to own, try lease to own, lease to own, lease to own is off. What are we talking about? All right, so this is very useful if you're selling a more expensive domain name. And that's kind of subjective, maybe like $10,000, $5,000, $20,000, whatever. Lease to own allows you to sell a domain name for a higher price 
but the buyer just pays in monthly installments. And then at the end of the contract, whether it's 12 months, 24 months, whatever, they own the domain name. And so it's useful because people can get access to more expensive domain names without having to drop a ton of cash right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and view the listing details for our domain name. So under here, you have your domain name right there. You have actions. Click on these three little dots right there. Then you can click on view details page. You have three tabs. You have pricing, statistics, and lander settings. So under pricing, that's pretty self-explanatory. This is your pricing. And if you want to edit it, just click on the edit button. And here you go. You can change everything as needed. Uh, minimum offer, floor price, buy now price. And you can also enable lease to own if you want. Now you have the statistics over here. And this shows you how many people visited the domain name. And then you have lander settings. Okay, so you can change the lander page. So by default, it should be request price. But if you don't want that, you want to be buy it now, then you can switch it by just clicking over here to save and then it changes it to buy it now. You also have access to cash parking as well, but that requires a cash parking account. You're like, what's cash parking? So cash parking is another service offered by GoDaddy. And it functions by showing display ads on a domain name. So this is very useful if you have a domain name that just has natural search traffic. Like if I own the domain name buyflowers.com, people just naturally type that in. And so that's the type of domain name that you want to have running ads over here. And then you have the custom lander over here. So personally, for most domain names, you're going to be choosing between buy it now and request price. I personally like buy it now a little bit more. So I'm going to go over here, click on save, and it should update. So yes, it says changes may take a moment. So no problem. Okay, so it's been about a minute and the lander page has been updated. And again, I much prefer this one. So it says the magic store is for sale. Buy it now. Here's the price point. And then the user clicks on next. And that is it. It's very simple. So if you want to see what this looks like in action for the end of visitor, let's go ahead and open up the site in a different web browser over here. Now the magic store, it's going to redirect us over here to the landing page. And then the user just clicks on next right here and it'll begin processing our request. And there you go. So the end user is immediately directed to the checkout page where they can make a purchase decision. And finally, on the back end, you just need to set up account payments. So underneath your settings, you're going to have payments right here. Now you need to add in tax information. So that just depends on your jurisdiction and country. And then you need to set up a payee account. So great, your domain name sells. Where does that money get sent to? And if you're going to be doing domain parking and running ads and doing all that stuff, then you also need to do the same thing. You need to set up a payee account. So what payee accounts can you set up? So you can do a local bank transfer, a SEPA transfer, wire transfer, or PayPal. All right, everyone, that's it for this short tutorial video. And I just want to leave you with After Nick Boost. So underneath your settings, you're going to see something that says After Nick Boost. You're like, what's that? Okay, it's the default plan that you're on. So it's the standard commission plus an extra 5% when you sell a domain name. Now, is it worth it? And in my opinion, it is worth it because you get the GoDaddy verified check mark, you get elevated placement in GoDaddy search, and you're incorporated into their email marketing campaigns, which makes it much easier to sell your domain name. Anyways, that is it for this tutorial video. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to sell your domain names at GoDaddy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.